Squid Game, a new Netflix horror series, is taking the world by storm. Fans love recreating the costumes and scenes, but one person ended up in the hospital after following a dangerous TikTok tutorial video. His recovery is expected to take a year. Doctors have issued warnings. Parents and schools have gotten involved. South Korea is protesting. They too are struggling. And Netflix is getting sued. What's going on behind the scenes? Why is Squid Game so loved and hated at the same time? Let's find find out. Before we get into the story, we'd like to thank our sponsor for today's video, Word Farm Adventure. Word Farm Adventure is a story-based game where you solve crossword puzzles to complete missions. With every puzzle you complete, you get items to rebuild your dream farm, villa, and many more landscapes coming very soon. It's the first game ever to cross over puzzle games and scape adventures. There are so many levels to choose from to challenge your mind. On your journey, you'll be accompanied by adorable characters like Perry, Rex, and many more. There are so many customizable options, even down to the puzzle tiles you use, which will make your experience much more colorful. It's the perfect combination of thinking skills and fun. It'll be your go-to game when you need something to pass time or want to sharpen your mind. It's convenient to play Word Farm Adventure wherever you are because it's easily accessible on your mobile phone. The game is available now on Android and iOS. Download for free using the link in the description of the video. We'd love to hear about your designs and which level you've reached. Also, if you install the game now, you'll get a welcome bonus. Now back to the story. Wrenching and deadly Squid Game is all the rage in 2021. It became the first show in 2021 to top 3 billion minutes streamed in one week. In its first two weeks of release, Squid Game was the most watched Netflix show in 90 countries. On September 27th at this year's Code Conference, Netflix's co-CEO, Ted Sarandos, said Squid Game was number one on the daily top 10 list in most countries. Sarandos further added, Squid Game is, um, will definitely be our biggest non-English language show in the world for sure. Uh, it's, it's only been out for nine days uh, and it's a very good chance it's going to be our biggest show ever. For context, Squid Game is a South Korean series featuring some popular Korean actors such as Lee Jung Jae, Gong Yoo, and Park Hae Soo. Sarando said Netflix produces local language content all over the world and wants these shows to be hugely impactful in their country. Every once in a while, a piece of local language content breaks out worldwide, like the Spanish series La Casa de Papel, also known as Money Heist, Korean series Sweet Home, and French series Lupin. What's amazing is Squid Game has surpassed all of these series as the largest non-English language launch and the first non-English language show to hit number one in America. So what is Squid Game about? And why is everyone talking about it? Here is a spoiler-free introduction to the series. Squid Game is a fictional drama which focuses on people participating in a competition in order to win a large cash prize to pay off their debt. The series is centered around the protagonist, Sung Ji Hoon, who is played by Lee Jung Jae. He's a chauffeur but has a dark secret. He's addicted to gambling and steals money from his mother to pay for his addiction. As a result, he's unable to afford a birthday present for his daughter. There are many others who are struggling with large debts as well and find themselves being recruited by a mysterious costume character to enter a competition to win a cash prize. The mysterious person offers them two colored envelopes, one red and one blue. While there's no explanation about what the colors mean, many people notice the colors may have decided what role they have in their future competition, potentially as a competitor or an employee. Song Ji Hoon and 455 other people are brought to a remote island where they compete to win 45.6 billion Korean won. That's about 48.4 million US dollars. Only one person is able to win the cash prize. This is where things get thrilling. The competitors play six reimagined children's games. Those who lose the games get eliminated, or to put it more accurately, their lives are brutally taken. Ted Sarandos described the series as a kind of dystopian survival story, kind of like Hunger Games or Maze Runner, but darker. Director Wan Dong-hyuk said he was heavily inspired by Japanese comics and animations, such as Battle Royale and Liar Game. 
Wong said the simplicity and relatable characters are the two elements that he believes made Squid Game successful abroad. He further added, I wanted to write a story that was an allegory or fable about modern capitalist society, something that depicts an extreme competition, somewhat like the extreme competition of life, but I wanted it to use the kind of characters we've all met in real life. As a survival game, it is entertainment and human drama. The games portrayed are extremely simple and easy to understand. That allows viewers to focus on the characters, rather than being distracted by trying to interpret the rules. And the games were extremely simple and easy to understand. They were based on children's games. There were six of them in the show. Red Light, Green Light, Honeycomb, Delgano Candy, Tug of War, Marbles, Glass Bridge, the Squid Game. Viewers became very intrigued with two of the games, Red Light, Green Light, and Delgano. Many of them took to social media to recreate the games without the morbid consequences. For context, Red Light, Green Light is a game where players stand behind the start position and another person stands at the opposite side of the field and yells either Green Light or Red Light. The goal is for players to move across the field when they hear Green Light and stand still when they hear Red Light. If a player is seen moving during the Red Light phase, they are eliminated from the game. People loved the simplicity of the game and recreated it themselves. One group of friends turned it into a drinking game. Another person made their Halloween decoration interactive using the red light, green light game. Many people made memes out of the game. When you save your girl but remember how petty she is. When you told your husband you were out getting groceries. When your ex accidentally moves in Squid Game. Next is the Honeycomb Game, also known as Dalgana or Popgi. Dalgana comes from the Korean word Dalguna, meaning it's sweet. It's also called Popgi, which means to pick or select, referring to the game aspect of the candy. The game involves a type of candy that is made by heating up a mixture of sugar and baking soda, then flattened and stamped with a mold before it hardens. After it hardens, the candy becomes very brittle. This is where the game begins. The player is supposed to break away around the stamped pattern without cracking the pattern. A pin or toothpick can also be used as a tool to break away at the edges. In Korea, some vendors will reward you with another Dalgona candy if you successfully win the game. Some other vendors may have other rewards such as small toys. Many viewers were interested in tasting the candy and wanted to test their luck at the seemingly difficult game. They shared their attempts at playing the Dalgona game on social media. Most people struggled. I would not die for cracking it, but for being clumsy. But some had patience and skill on their side. TikToker The Windgrove made his own version with other easily breakable foods. Contestants must eat the sausage roll and not drop any crumbs. Low Country Restaurant also joined the fun by sharing a seafood rendition of easily breakable foods. Others made parodies. When you don't understand Korean, when I reached game 2 of Squid Game, another person compared the candy game to a mini game in the Mario Party game series. Some people got creative and used other objects for fun looking molds, such as this supreme brick. Many restaurants also joined the trend with Squid Game decor or food. One restaurant in Singapore offered free food for winning the game in 2 minutes or less. In Los Angeles, a Squid Game pop-up restaurant opened. The restaurant was decorated with props, all the employees were wearing green tracksuits, and Squid Game was playing on all the TVs. All of these recreations seem innocent and fun, but this wasn't the case for everyone. The Dalgana game went terribly wrong for one Australian teen who was hospitalized after trying to recreate the candy. 14-year-old Aidan Higgins, who lives in Sydney, tried to make Dalgana using water, bicarb soda, and sugar. Things went wrong when Aidan put the mixture inside a plastic cup and put it in the microwave. The plastic cup was non-microwavable, so the cup and mixture melted together. Aidan suffered from first-degree burns on his hand and third-degree burns on his leg. For context, WebMD describes first-degree burns, the one on Aiden's hand, as affecting only the outer layer of skin. While the burn on his leg, a third-degree burn, affected two full layers of his skin, this meant his skin appeared black, brown, white, or yellow instead of red. There isn't any pain from this because this type of burn damages nerve endings. 
Back to Aiden's story. Doctors considered giving him a skin graft for the third degree burn on his leg. According to Healthline, skin grafting is a surgical procedure that involves removing skin from one area of the body and moving it or transplanting it to a different area of the body. Aiden's mother, Helen, described Aiden's situation to the Daily Telegraph. It boiled up to a ridiculous temperature, and when he took the cup out, it exploded in his hand. It has burnt his hand, and because it was sugar and plastic melted together, it has run down his leg from his knee down to his shin, and it stuck and kept on burning and burning and burning. It was like toffee and burnt right through to the nerves. What's important to note is, Aiden followed a recipe he saw on TikTok, which instructed him to use a plastic cup. It's unclear if they mentioned using a microwavable plastic cup. Aiden said he wanted to try recreating the candy after seeing it all over the internet, and some of his friends had already made it. Now Aiden is urging others not to try it, or to make sure they are supervised by their parents if they do try to make the candy. In Aiden's case, he was not supervised. Helen was in another room at the time of the incident, so she wasn't able to help pick out the right cup. She said a lot of their cups are microwavable, but some aren't. She said kids can't really tell the difference. Aiden's injuries are so serious, his recovery is expected to take a year, according to the Daily Mail. He is spending his recovery in a pressure bandage. Helen said, It's shocking that such a simple act, like making honeycomb, could have such serious consequences. Aiden isn't the first one to be hospitalized for recreating the Dalgona candy. Doctors have warned parents to monitor what their kids consume after four other children, two in Sydney, one in Perth, and one in Melbourne, were also hospitalized from burns related to recreating the candy. The burns happened when attempting to transfer the hot mixture to parchment paper. The two children in Sydney also required ongoing treatment. Dr. Eric LaHaye, the head of burns at Sydney Children's Hospitals Network, said the Dalgona candy could be dangerous because of the high temperature sugar melts at. He said the honeycomb toffee mix is both hotter and stickier. If the mixture is spilt or handled while it's still hot, the greater heat and longer contact times causes deeper, more serious burns. For context, sugar mixed with water, or sugar syrups, have a very high boiling point which increases when there is a higher sugar to water ratio. In the Dalgona recipe, it is pure sugar and baking soda, making the boiling point extremely high. According to the book The Science of Sugar Confectionery, boiling sugar can exceed 150 degrees Celsius, or 302 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than most cooked foods. So what if you use the right equipment and follow safe recipes, but still accidentally spill the mixture on yourself? These first aid tips provided by Healthline can help you treat a burn from boiling liquid. First, remove the heat source to prevent further injury. The burned area should be placed under cool running water for 20 minutes. However, if the burn covers a large portion of the body, don't submerge yourself in the water as this will cause you to lose body heat. Any clothing or jewelry on or near the effective area should be removed unless they are stuck to the burn. Cover the burn with a moist bandage or clean cloth. Elevate the burned area above heart level if possible. And lastly, don't break any blisters. If you notice shock symptoms, signs of infection, or your burn is larger than three inches, seek medical attention immediately. Another important thing to note from this situation is to make sure you have the right recipe. It's always good practice to research multiple recipes to make sure you're doing it the right and safe way. It also doesn't hurt to ask your parents to supervise your candy making recipe. This isn't the first time Squid Game has caused concern. In October, three elementary schools in New York and one school in Quebec City banned their students from wearing Squid Game costumes on Halloween. Many of the school's email parents to inform them their children were playing their own versions of the games depicted in the Squid Game series. Craig Tice, the superintendent for the Fayetteville Manlia School District, which is near Syracuse, said the Squid Game costumes would be inappropriate to wear to school during Halloween because of the potential violent messages aligned with the costume. However, the school in Quebec City, Boise Elementary School, eventually pushed back on their decision after Francois Legault, the premier of Quebec, spoke of his childhood Halloweens. When I was young, we dressed up as witches, as monsters, but it's not because we wanted to support witches and monsters. We are in a society where soon we will no longer have the right to do anything. But not everyone viewed the situation as Legault did. A council in the south of England has advised parents to not let their children watch Squid Game after seeing children as young as six copying the games in the playground. For context, the series is rated 15. Schools around England have also witnessed their students copying the game and warned parents to check their children's device settings as their children 
may be viewing the show without their parents' knowledge. However, it's very possible children are not watching the show, but instead are aware of the viral trends on TikTok and other social media. For example, people have recreated versions of the games on Roblox, Minecraft, and Fortnite, which are games that many parents allow their children to play. Another incident where Squid Game caused trouble was in South Korea. Squid Game was so popular it was causing a massive surge in internet traffic for a South Korean internet service provider, SK Broadband. SK Broadband has sued Netflix to pay for costs from increased network traffic and maintenance work because of a surge in viewers to the US firm's content. According to Reuters, a Seoul court said Netflix should reasonably give something in return to SK Broadband for network usage. Some South Korean lawmakers support this idea as well. Netflix has been using SK Broadband since 2018, and the bits of data processed per second have multiplied by 24 times. As a result, SK is now handling 1.2 trillion bits of data processed per second as of September. According to court documents, SK estimated the network usage fee Netflix needed to pay in 2020 alone was 27.2 billion won, 22.9 million US dollars. Last year in 2020, Netflix also brought up its own lawsuit arguing that Netflix's duty ends with content creation. Netflix has appealed against SK's lawsuit and proceedings will start in late December. Squid Game also opened up a larger conversation in South Korea. On October 20th, thousands of union workers in South Korea went on strike, calling on the government to improve workers' rights. About 80,000 workers rallied in 13 different cities in South Korea. Many protesters wore Squid Game costumes and said they are struggling like the characters in the show. Lim Yun Suk, the Korea bureau chief for Channel News Asia, tweeted, They too are struggling to make a living. According to a 2016 study, South Korean workers work 44.6 hours per week on average, higher than the number of average weekly working hours, 32.8, in OECD member nations. Lee Chang Kyun, a former worker at South Korea's Sangyong Motors, which laid off thousands of employees and filed for bankruptcy protection in 2009, told ABC News, Some scenes were very hard to watch. In Squid Game, you see characters scrambling to survive after being laid off at work, struggling to operate fried chicken diners as dairy drivers. That reminded me of my co-workers who died. Lee said he and his colleagues struggled to find work and were blacklisted by other auto companies who consider them labor activists. A 2016 report by medical researchers at Korea University said 28 workers laid off from Sangyong Motors or their relatives passed away from taking their own life or severe health problems, including those linked to post-traumatic stress disorder. Many citizens lose hope in advancing in society when good jobs are hard to find and housing prices are at an all-time high. This sort of situation entices many people to borrow money or gamble in Korea. According to ABC News, South Korea's household debt is at $1.5 trillion, which now exceeds the country's annual economic output. Many citizens think Squid Game's global success isn't something to be proud of. Se Jung Kim, a South Korean lawyer based in Poland, said, Foreigners will come to you saying they too watch Squid Game with fascination and may ask whether Ali's situation in the drama could really happen in a country that's as wealthy and neat as South Korea and I would have nothing to say. Kim jong wook another Sangyang worker who spent months with Lee Chang-kyun in 2015 demanding the company rehire fired workers, said he couldn't watch Squid Game after episode one. He said, it was too traumatic for me. Unfortunately, the rallies were in violation of the country's strict social distancing policies due to the global pandemic. Korean President Moon Jae-in asked union workers to stop rallying in order to prevent the spread of the virus. Squid Game was an incredibly successful series and affected people in many different ways. Some are having fun with recreations of the mini-games, others got hurt following dangerous recipes, and some were inspired to protest for labor rights even if the story hit too close to home. What are your thoughts on this story? Also. Don't forget to download Word Farm Adventure if you enjoy puzzles. Follow the exciting storyline and become the hero of the farm while saving the cute animals. A welcome bonus will be available for a limited time when you use the link in the description below. Did you enjoy any of the Squid Game challenges? Leave a comment down below.